Ook het de people blij om hier op Solomon Islands. Ook het hebben look after met natural resource lo country for hundreds of years come finish. Ook het de salt water blij om hier. Ook het de lagoon en ook het de river ook te garen stakke vis en stakke marine resource inside. Suppose you me follow ook het de traditional way of life and culture of Solomon Islands. By all the picking in blue yumi too, the future, but also the fishing and harvesting of marine resource lo country. But you may need to change him how you may fishing this time, make him out something or same, or get to happen. You too, you say help for doing this one. Here I come, good fella, and look, look, come, lo some fella story, lo how now for doing this one. Welcome to Module 1 of the Fish and People DVD Education Resource. This five-module audiovisual DVD package provides an introduction to the facts of life as they relate to fish, fisheries, and the people who depend on them. Each of these five Fish and People modules covers important ecological concepts for maintaining healthy ecosystems and fisheries in the Pacific. By understanding these concepts and applying sustainable fishing practices, we can continue to enjoy these fisheries now and in the future. In the clear waters of the Pacific lie some of the richest coral reefs in the world. Famed for their diversity and abundance of marine life, these marine ecosystems have supported coastal communities for centuries. Surrounded by a vast open ocean, surely there can be no reason to be concerned about our marine bounty. After all, there are always plenty more fish in the sea. Or are there? When I look back now at 71 years of age, I've seen a lot of changes. For example, one little type of fish that travels in schools, it's like sardine. And in pigeon here, we call it katu katu. It's never seen around here now. That, that was a fish bait. You might see it in Aoki and in Honiara, where the big wharfs are, but you don't see them around the islands here so much as they used to before. But I'm a school yet, Miss Tablo High School. I ask him daddy blow me about him this one yeah. And daddy blow me, him say, him, him telling me one story. Um, him say time him young boy, time him young yet, him used to walk about color reef, lo home blow me vala, lo arare lagoon. And him say collect him now, and fill him up with a copra bike, lo green snail, lo on top lo reef, lo during low tide. And him say karem go for kakai. What's I born him or what's I cook him? And me dive long time, plenty, me spend him long hours low our, our area, me never look him one fella. But story blow daddy blow me now, where time him young man him look him, a uh, crane snail. Side low at a turtle in Osim because me save go help him to three fella divers for go dive him turtle too. Uh, before one name what's a dream time, my small boy and jump inside the canoe for follow my water go no more. Miss I look him that what say, hey, uh, you may move on a spot to tell a small too much. You may go find him big one on side. This time, no more now. By what I go by what about talem no him, you may move on a spot, no any title here. So, him no him big difference. Have you noticed these changes? If you are young, you may never have even known the good times. So why not be your own historian? It's easy. Just ask any elder this simple question. What was the fishing like when you were a boy? For the last 20 years, uh, actually since early 1990s, because I'm this time, I'm 20 years now, and uh, as you mentioned, me involved uh, quite uh, a lot of uh, marine surveys, yeah? where I'm um, look, 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 different marine species in me use him, 
also water fish, or got the best mare, or trokers, or the giant clam, uh, totele, uh, yeah, and even pearl oysters, green snail, yeah, trokers. And I think observation blow me based on this, I mean, what me look him and what me do him and experience with the most species is most low rata uh, water really go down uh, over this period where we talk about him since early 1990s because this time uh, me look him on some population blow rata or abundance blow rata and go down some for low rata him really go down too much some follow him go down a little bit. There is a pattern to these stories. All over the Pacific, people tell the same story. Fish numbers are declining, and the size of the animals is getting smaller. Not just for fish, but for all the plants and animals people depend on from the sea. Why is this so? Human population pressure is one factor. 100 years ago, there was only a quarter as many people living in places like the Solomon Islands and Papua New Guinea, and the markets for reef fish were few and small. Fishing was for families. As the population has grown, so has the pressure on the fish available to be caught. Technology is another factor. In 1960, few people even owned a diving mask or outboard motors. Ice machines were non-existent. Traditionally, food was captured, then eaten. But now people fish not just to eat, but to make money, and to be part of the cash economy. They can do this because technology makes them more efficient fishermen, and allows them to store and sell their catches to other people in other places. Making a living from nature is not a bad thing. We all have to eat and provide for our families. But we need to think about what we are doing or we will destroy the very thing that supports those families. Technology can make your life both easier and harder. There is a simple rule at play here. If you do not understand the environment you are exploiting, you may well break it. The key message here is as human population increases and technology improves, fish stocks have declined. So how can we know if we are impacting on our marine habitats and resources? It is no longer good enough to just guess about the health of reefs and food species. This is a job for science. There are two common ways that we can measure the impact of fishing on fish and other species. One is to physically count a species in its habitat and do this repeatedly over time. For example, each year. In this way, we can see trends in the resource over time. By monitoring a resource, we can detect if it is getting more or less healthy. An important point to keep in mind here is that decisions about the environment need to be made on quality scientific information and not on opinions and casual observations. Another way to scientifically monitor the status of a fishery is to compare the amount of time spent fishing to achieve the same result. This is a fisheries concept called catch per unit effort. It works like this. Scientists work with fishers to record how many fish they catch in a known time using a particular type of fishing gear. A simple equation tells us how much effort was required to catch those fish at that time using that gear. We can tell if it is getting harder to catch the same amount of fish, a sure sign of concern for an important resource. We can also use catch per unit effort to compare types of fishing approach. Some fishing techniques are just too efficient and will destroy a resource. Oh, oh. 
The take home message from this module is that times have changed. Today, there are more people to feed and more people fishing and our ability to catch, store, transport and consume our marine resources is becoming even more efficient. What hasn't increased is the number of fish and other target species. In fact, the number of fish and other targeted marine species have declined all over the world. Experience in other parts of the world shows that once broken, a fishery rarely comes back. The days when we could rely on the endless bounty of the oceans are gone. Now we must think carefully about how we exploit our resources so that they are there for the future. A key concept in measuring the impact we have on our resources is that scientific monitoring of fish stocks and catch effort provides reliable information for fisheries management. The best way to conserve and sustain your marine resources is to base their management on real information about their health and status. And we'll learn about that in the next module. At this stage, it is very difficult to convince people that uh, fish or, or the species full of fish, Bamba Hemi finish here. Because resources, especially the fish here, yeah, Hemi getting less. And the population, human population, Hemi increases. <laughs>